Hey everyone, I'm gonna go here and update 4.0.0 is out. And with it, we have the uh, Faye channel, which then announced book four. Which, of course, as some might expect me to be, I am quite excited. Because I enjoy. Because, well, I can't say enjoy. Uh, the story of Faye is what I look forward to most nowadays. The arena is same old, same old. Well, not exactly, not anymore. <laughs> Pretty soon, the arena's gonna be back to its old roots, really. Uh, Ether Raids is sometimes just not fun to go through. Um, and, well, we don't get the moods. We're not, I haven't had Hall of Forms in like two months! I don't know how long it's been since we have had Hall of Forms, but I feel like it was on a list, but then it just disappeared. But uh, regardless, the book three was what I will look to look forward to most, and the ending was all right to me. And of course, that one Xenolog gave us the reveal that. We may very well just see Leaf and Thrasir again because Thor came along and made a contract with them, picked them up and whatever. So who knows if they'll ever show their faces again. They might just pull a Surtur and never show up again. But that's enough talking about book three. Let's talk about book four! <laughs> so as we can see here, we have something. <laughs> this is apparently called the Realm of Dreams. I'm not going to attempt to pronounce that because it's just going to hurt my tongue and it's also going to hurt my pride. But here in the Realm of Dreams, it seems like we got some fairy folk. And these might be what Loki and Thor were talking about. That these guys were coming. Or at least these uh, dark evil fairy people. These ladies, they're... Uh, Looking pretty dangerous. Also, those butterflies, they look a lot like um, the ones that fly around Young Azura and the other Adrift characters when they do their special art. Like, normally they're blue, but when they do their special art, it's they turn orange. So I wonder if they have some sort of connection to um, the units from the Adrift banner, Young Azura included. But, uh, here it says, Book 4 takes place in the Realm of Dreams and chronicles the journey of the Order of Heroes as it confronts the mysterious denizens of the Realm of Nightmares. And mythic hero, Peony, Sweet Dream, will join you as a 5-star hero after you clear Book 4, Chapter 1, Part 5. Peony is a light mythic hero who gives speed plus 4 to all light-blessed heroes during Aether Raids, and I think it'll also happen during, um... Mjolnir's Strike, I think this is what our new mode is called. And, well, I'll, I'll get to that in a separate video, probably. Because that's, like, a bits and pieces mode. We haven't got... We do one... Or, apparently, this shield or... Uh... Brace phase, or whatever they called it. And then there's this other phase, and there's this other phase, and those happen, like, days apart from now. So I don't know how I'm going to record that, but well, I'll try something. So, yeah, Peony is also... Back to Peony, I mean. Um, but she is a blue mage flyer. I believe she's down here. But she is a blue mage flyer. There she is. With... And she dances. And, uh... She has an upgraded dance skill called... Sweet Dreams, I think it's called. And get this. Those in the carnal directions of Peony and the unit that she dances for get plus three to all stats. And pretty much they also get ground orders slash air orders. They can move next to anyone they want within two spaces. I'm pretty sure that's what the text said. I'm going to test it out. To make sure it's not like a bit of a text text space screw up or a coding screw up like with Egrand's weapon. By the way, it doesn't work how it says it does. It's a uh, it depends on Egrand's speed outside of combat, not during combat. 
So if she has 38 speed and she's fighting someone with like 40 speed, base speed, even if Egrand has Darting Blow to make sure that she's faster, she's not going to be able to debuff them with her weapon's effect, pretty much. Um, but yeah, I doubt the effect of Sweet Dreams will be as problematic as that. Um, but what will, will be problematic about it is Aether Raids. If I feel like we're going to see Peony more on defense, then she will be on offense. <laughs> And that is a scary thing, because air orders and ground orders are some terrifying skills to deal with. I should know. I use ground orders in my defense on Enema season. And it's gotten me quite a number of kills, and it's gotten me quite a number of successes, too. Other than that, she comes with blue dual flying, aerobatics, and fortify res 4. Her kit is very similar to Legendary Azuros, by the way. <laughs> So, um, as always, I don't think you should sacrifice these units, because they always come with, like, a quest or something, somewhere down the line. Even though she'll come back during, um, the Legendary Summoning event of this month, December, she'll be there. And she's also on, of course, the banner she's debuting on here. I think this is 3%. It's not like Hero Fest with Air, where it was 5%. Still, we have forging bonds, so and we'll get summoning tickets, free summon tickets. So if you want to give a shot at getting another peony, there you go. So yeah, that's peony, who I guess will be helping us out in this ordeal of book four. Whoever these two are, um, I did look at the data mine. Um, I think it's this one on the left. She's also a dancer. I think I saw something that said that. And I, I'm just going to assume that the one on the right is also a dancer. So we just might be having like enemy dancers. So that's going to be... That's going to be something. And I assume we'll be dealing with one of them in chapter one. But hey. That's fine with me. And I cannot wait. <laughs> So, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all my thoughts on the announcement of Book 4. That's pretty much what this video was all about. I just wanted to babble about Book 4, because it's coming, and I am hope... I stress this, I hope... that it is longer than 13 chapters. Or, if it's not longer than 13 chapters, make it feel like it's... longer than 13 chapters. I, I want to, like, send some sort of inquiry or feedback, but I don't know. I just really want them to not rush through things like it seemed like they did with Book 3, because Book 3 had so much promise and there. It could have been some more things done, but they weren't done. I'm also still wondering why Surta didn't just show up. It might have just been because Hell was just saying that, hey, you died. You, your death has made me considerably stronger and that's what she meant when said now you are mine and all that but I don't know but yeah I'm just gonna keep my hopes held high and uh, I hope you guys do too keep optimistic opinions out this this is only going to be chapter one I don't know if we'll get chapter two along with it I don't think we will oh it wasn't specified that way I don't think it was worded that way that we would get it, but whenever there was a, a book that would debut, that's what happened. We got book 2, and it gave us both chapter 1 and chapter 2, and book 3 gives chapter 1 and chapter 2 of that one. I'm assuming it'll do the same for book 4, but I won't hold my breath. So hey. Whatever happens, happens, and I'm just hoping that book 4 turns out to be just as good as book 3, but of course, I also hope it's better. It's quite a bit of a tonal shift, I think. The Realm of Dreams. Certainly gonna be different from the Realm of the Dead, I feel. And there's only one way we'll be able to make sure of that. And that's, of course, by going through it ourselves. So, yeah. Thank you all very much for watching this video. Feel free to share your opinions on the announcement of Book 4. Um, you can feel free to tell me what you think about the version update itself. And, uh, yeah. Until next time, I'll see you guys.
in the next video. Take care.